All right, hey guys, and welcome back. As this week, I wanted to take a look at an awesome line of Transformer toys made by Hasbro in 2007, and that is the line of Robot Heroes, Transformers Robot Heroes. Now, these guys are uh, really super cool. Um, I try to pick them up pretty much wherever I see them. I have kind of a small collection, um, but I'm always on the lookout for more. And what they are is they are one and a half to two inch little PVC um, chunky minifigures. And they were made uh, from 2007 up until like 2010, 14-ish. And they're considering actually bringing the line back. And it covers so many different, um, well, literally generations of Transformers. Now obviously you can see here I mainly have G1. But uh, it also covers, like, you know, the Michael Bay uh, Transformers, like with, you know, Revenge of the Fallen and stuff like that. Uh, it covers Beast Wars. Um, also some of, like, the, uh, the extended Transformers universe. And, like, you have uh, figures like RC. Um, you know, you have Blaster. I believe there's a... Uh, the Devastator, at least from the Michael Bay movies, is uh, in there. They have a little combiner one from when he's like fighting in the desert and stuff. You got Grimlock. And there's just so many cool little minifigures that I just wanted to take a look at these guys today because they are so, so awesome. So I've got a uh, collection of seven in total to take a look at here. So let's start out by looking at the good guys. Of course, we'll take a look at the Autobots first and then we'll move on to the Decepticons. And up first, we have Rodimus Prime. Or, well, I guess Hot Rod. This technically wouldn't be Rodimus Prime. Uh, but whatever, you know. Same same, uh, same Autobot, really. Just two different modes. I'm sure some people will agree with, disagree with, uh, with me on that point. Well, this guy here, he's a little sun-faded. Uh, and you can see under his arms what the, like, the red color should look like. Uh, but overall, I still think that he looks pretty good. Um, you know, definitely has some paint wear and stuff like that. But I love just the, the posings and the way these guys look. Um, the articulation can, va can vary widely from uh, little figure to figure. He's got his uh, exhaust cannons there. His, like, laser blasters on the front. He's got his rear spoiler on the back. They stand really well. They're really poseable. Most of them, at least the heads. Oh, this one, the head does not move. Most of them, though, usually the heads and the arms will move. Some of them, the torso will move. Let me just make sure the head isn't stuck. Yeah, his his head does not move, unfortunately. But uh, pretty cool looking and just a really nice looking little uh, PVC figure. Unfortunately, although his color is pretty badly faded, but still looks pretty good. So we'll put him back. And now let's check out Ultra Magnus. And man, does he look good. Like, all the colors pop so well on him here. And I love the different poses you can put him at. Like, he's got his fist here. Like, where he's, like, you know, ready to rally the troops and stuff. I believe his head... Yeah, yeah his, his head turns, so you can turn the head on him. And I like how he has his finger pointing, like, you know, leading... The troops into battle and stuff. I don't believe he pivots at the waist, no. But the uh, the colors, like, they just pop so great. He's got his little missile there. The white, the red, the blue, the yellow, the silver, with the exhaust uh, smokestacks on his helmet there. Everything just looks fantastic, and that is a really fantastic little mold where they kind of remind me of Battle Beasts in a way, like, since they're so small. And he just looks awesome. Definitely one of my favorites. So much color going on here. And really done well. Really, really pops pops great. You can almost hear the voice of Ultra Magnus just looking at this little guy. And another fun one, of course, we have Bumblebee. And this is just like a silly pose. And this is kind of like what I always remember like Bumblebee doing. Like he's always just like rushing into to battle. Always very courageous, but never really knows what he's doing. And he's like always waving for Optimus or like 
Ultra Magnus or Hot Rod or Rodimus Prime. And he's like, oh, Hot Rod, help! Or, you know. And, uh, that, I don't know, just that kind of looks like him, I guess. And, yeah. Not a lot going on, but the colors look good. His pose looks good. And, again, really well done. I think that's a nice little PVC bumblebee that we got here. Very nice. And then we got Sunstreaker. Now, Sunstreaker was always one of my favorite uh, Transformers. And he looks good here. I believe his head, yep, his head moves as well. A lot of nice detail with the red, the yellow. I like how, unlike with Bumblebee, they even got the shade of the yellow right. Like, it's not just, they could have been lazy and just dialed it in and just did the same yellow, but they, this that's very close. Even though the paint, you know, the coloration isn't perfect, that's pretty close to his actual G1 counterpart. The detailing on the fins, you know, his back spoiler back there, or at least the exhaust stacks from it. So again, I think this is another great looking little uh, Autobot Transformer and really fun. Very nice. So now let's take a look at the Decepticons. And first up, we have Galvatron. And how awesome does he look? You got that fantastic purple. Um, his head is just, I think it's one of the, the best looking heads. And as far as like animations, poses, like he, he really looks good. I think the sculpt is just so on point here. I don't know. Yeah, I'm not, maybe some of them didn't move at the waist. I thought that they did. Um, but anyway... Like, the fact that you can rotate his cannon, and then with his fist and everything, like, how great does that look? Like, you just want to have him, like, with Starscream be like, Will anyone else attempt to fill his shoes? Like, he just, that, that is a really, really good-looking Galvatron. And there's not a lot of Galvatron stuff out there, and his G1 figure was kind of terrible, because it's just so chunky and ridiculous-looking. So this is a really, really nice Galvatron, even though it's in a small size. Looks really awesome. And now, of course, this one's definitely one of my personal all-time favorites, because it's Shockwave. And I, uh, I have my Shockwave that I had when I was growing up, and he was one of, you know, always, of course, going to be one of my favorite figures, because I remember playing with him and everything. So uh, this little mini version of Shockwave is awesome, and again, I know I probably sound like a broken record, but the sculpts on these are so good. They're they're so well done for their diminutive size. And he's got a little paint wear on his uh, on his pl you know his plasma cannon there, but the little ears, the one eye and the face, the the chest with the uh, Decepticon logo, everything looks really good. You got the hose around the back. Even had that little part of uh, when he's in his laser mode that flips up onto his back, his energy backpack that powers his uh, plasma plasma cannon there, and yeah, looks awesome, 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 awesome. Another fantastic looking figure there. And last but certainly not least, we have the uh, leader of the Insecticons, Shrapnel. And uh, he was always so funny in the cartoons. Like, yeah, he had such an ego, and his voice was just so, so hilarious. And, like, I just, I, I love his look. I love the, the visor for the eyes. And I love even with this different shade of purple how, like, you can, you can see with all of these different Decepticons, you could easily have just done one shade of purple, but there's, like... There's, there's tone variations, and even in this, in the sculpt, to separate it and make it look different, you can see how, like, segmented the different parts are of, like, his fingers and hands. So he, he has more of a cell-shaded, kind of, like, comic book uh, art style look to him. Um, and it just looks fantastic. Like, you know, his, his giant, like, beetle scarab fins or whatever there. He's got his... You know, he's got his little laser blasters on his arms. Just the little details, like the little red lines on the arms there. I love the big chunky feet. 
you know, plus the smile, the smirk, like that, that's so great. He's got the gold chest plate and some nice detailings around on the back. And just what a fantastic looking uh, little character. And I love just these like huge poses for little figures. Like they, they're, they're, there's so much going on, like for such a, something so small, they're brought to life so well. And all right, guys, well, that's going to do it. So thanks for stopping by and checking out this uh, short little review of Hasbro's line of robot heroes. And hope you enjoy checking them out today. And I will see you guys back here next time. Take care. Hey, guys, if you like the video that you just watched, don't forget to hit that subscribe button down below. And you can follow me at Facebook at King of Retro or Twitter at hashtag 8 Brian. See you next time.